Let's see. <clears throat> Holy hell. <clears throat> Feels kind of <clears throat> stuck. Hey guys, Matt from Just Wrench It here. And the future is now. And by that, I mean everybody's seen, and I will throw in a picture here on the screen somewhere. Everybody's seen those crappy ass universal sockets. You know the ones I'm talking about. They have the little pins inside that retract when you put them on a bolt, and they're supposed to be tough enough to allow you to loosen some stuff and for really light stuff like if you're a woodworker or something like that some of that may work some of the time but as anyone with half a brain can tell you uh it's a gimmicky tool and it doesn't work as it's supposed to and it's a waste of money actually i find it hilarious because these things are still on sale everywhere and they've started trying to make like nicer versions of them, but it's all the same stuff. We know it's all the same stuff. And I would show you mine, but I'm better than you. I never bought one. So, uh, I have that under my belt. That's one gimmicky tool I didn't buy. Let's not go into all the other gimmicky tools that I have bought. Okay, so I was shopping around. And I found this bad boy. Now, I will say, and this is kind of crazy, uh, I was sketching some stuff out in my head a while back after the um, extractor from Ulsa Tools. Uh, after that went kind of south, I was they were we were talking about ideas, and I have to say that what I sketched out. I'm sure I have it somewhere. It's it's actually not too far off from this with uh, basically some teeth in it. But anyway, I digress. What we have here is the new, and dare I say it, actually improved and functional universal socket. Now, this little bad boy is fat, right? Um, I think it goes all the way up to like three-quarter uh forgive me at the moment what is that 19 millimeter so um really small like eight millimeters something like that uh all the way up to 19 and then your standard equivalents obviously and what happens here is we have these pins they retract uh and kind of expand out because of the springs you see there and we turn the outer casing I got to focus. We turn the outer casing and they tighten up. Uh, now, the way that this is better than that bullshit they tried to sell us years and years ago and still kind of do, uh, although I'm sure nobody buys it, is that these are slotted. They're in here. They're like an I-beam. It's hard for me to get this to focus right, but you can kind of see that there. The slotting on the sides, it's like an I-beam uh, in a track with the, the springs causing tension to the outside. And then this outer edge of this adjuster uh, is beveled and it makes contact and holds them in place. So what happens here effectively, we're going to go here. Like, okay, we're on there. Going to tighten it down. Just finger tight, nothing crazy. I think we're on tighten, so switch it to loosen. No, we're on tighten. My bad. Come on, guys. I'm trying to uh, trying to get this going here. Okay, so there we go. We're on it. And wow, what do you know? It actually worked. Anything that's recessed, you're going to have a hard time with. Anything that, like this fender bolt that's up close to something, you're going to have trouble with. But, for general maintenance, like a handyman, um, you want to throw this in as like a grab ball. 
I can already think of a bunch of situations where this would actually work. Um, we have like some conveyors and stuff at work and none of the bolts are in like really tight locations. So this would be pretty good for that. I want to do some more torque testing here, but let's see. <clears throat> Holy hell. Oh. Feels kind of stuck. Oh. Uh, there. Okay. Uh, if you can see that, it uh, kind of actually gouged the lug nut a bit in the, the corners. That's weird. So it is gripping. It's actually gripping pretty well. Let's tighten this back up. <sighs> huh yeah okay so it did work on a lug nut that's good news um so in in closing are you going to be able to use it on like that bolt right there no uh i don't think it really likes that right there because it's really shallow and that bevel there I don't think it can get like a good bite on it. It keeps slipping off. But for something that you just throw in a bag, or like I said, if you're a handyman and you're coming up on different stuff like me, what's it going to hurt to throw this one socket in my go bag? I mean, I'll have the other sockets and stuff in there too, but... If this can get the thing loose, if I have access and work uh, permits me to use this, it might save some time. So, it actually got a lug nut off without breaking. The teeth, the metal's not messed up. Sorry, I'm all over. The metal's not messed up at all. The, the little jaws still slide. It works, man. Uh, is it going to work in every instance? No, but it works. So, guys, there is a universal socket on the market that you can buy, and it'll work. I just busted a lug nut off with this thing, and it actually marred up the lug nut, which means it was gripping, it was grabbing. So, uh, that's surprising. I will have a link down below. Where you can buy this thing on Amazon. It's like 20 bucks I want to say. But for the ease of use. Um, I'm saying go for it. It's not that bad of a tool man. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of cases where you could use this instead of something else. So there we have it guys. Finally a universal socket that can actually grip and hold something. All right, that's what I got for today. Matt from Just Wrench It. I will see you later.